All right. Well, good morning. It's a beautiful day. I don't even know what day of the week it is because I am on vacation. I'm not even looking at a calendar. I don't look at it. I'm not looking at anything. I'm assuming it's Wednesday. Could be Thursday. Probably is Thursday because that means I'm closer to uh, going back to work, which sucks. But I just want to show you this. And I bought a ton of these banana cars because I thought it was funny that every time I send a car to another guy that actually customizes or does, you know, cool things with cars, I always send this as a joke and say, yeah, customize this, you know. And uh sad thing is, is, like, no one's ever taken me up. So I took the challenge upon myself. And I want to thank Jay at Jay's Diecast Creation for giving me the inspiration because Jay does a lot of cool, you know, Gaslander kind of stuff. And that's kind of something not in my scope of things to do. But I decided last night <laughs> I was going to do it. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So if you're ready for the unveiling, here it is. This is what we started with. This is what we ended up with. And I, uh, you know, I, I never understood kind of what the whole appeal was uh, with the whole gas lens thing. But I'm telling you, uh, Jay, I get it. I absolutely get it. Taking a bunch of parts, making them fit. I mean, I mean, oh my God, this thing, I JB Water axles in, put a new motor on there. I basically mashed up like two or three cars into this. And uh, I mean, come on. This thing is so sweet. Uh, I call it the rotten banana. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this thing is bad, man. I mean, come on, look at this. Gatlin guns, right? It's got a big Gatlin gun on the top. It's got, like, these turbo thrusters on the back. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, come on. Uh, if I needed a backup on my Gaslands, uh, run for fuel, whatever, this is the guy I want with me. I mean, come on. Would you look at that? <laughs> uh, this is so much fun, man. And I get it. In, in fact, I get it so much that I've already started a second Gaslands build. Uh, just for no reason. Just because it made me happy. And uh, yeah, that car's already put apart. I've already de-chromed it. And I've already got guns lined up that I'm, I'm ready to go with. But I like this. I mean, I seriously... Seriously, I'm enjoying this. It's not something I'm going to do all the time, but uh, I think it's the first time. Uh, this is really freaking cool. I think it turned out great. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. Y'all may not like it, but I mean, look where we started at. Look where we ended up at. I mean, come on. I mean, this was fun. And I get it, Jay. I, 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 I finally get the appeal of a gas lens. And I thank you for that because... Without you being on YouTube, showing your videos, all the cool things you do, um, yeah, I would have never have tried this. This is not in my wheel scope. I mean, I like making things pretty. I like making things uh, like this, you know, just making it better than what I, what I found it as. But, yeah, no, bro. <laughs> I get this. I finally, finally get this. And all this stuff, literally the banana car, dollar tree, dollar. Uh, all these little bits and pieces, dollar tree, a dollar. Uh, these wheels, already had them. They were in a box given to me from some other people. Um, <laughs> it was a $2 bill, man. A little bit of JB Weld, a little bit of drilling, you know, uh, spray paint primer, which I already have. And, uh, yeah, I <laughs> mean... Dude, I get it. I finally, finally get the appeal of the Gaslands. And I appreciate you. I appreciate your videos. I appreciate you putting those things out there and like saying, hey, guys, just got there and do it. Just got there and do it, man. You're so positive. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm happy with this. I, 
this will be going on like my shelf. Of course, it won't fit in a display box, but yeah, dude, I am so happy with this. I am so happy with this. And uh, like I said, I already got a second one. Uh, already pulled apart. Already a third way into the process. So, man, thank you so much for everything you did. Uh, for everything that you're doing. But I'm going to go ahead and push this out the way. Because I'm still cleaning up the garage. And I thought this. I thought to myself, Lord Jesus, did I, you know, I don't remember, I don't, I, I know I have these tools, but I didn't know that it is full of stuff. So we're going to go through this together. Look at this. Authentic recreations of Matchbox Auto Vehicles. If I'm not mistaken, this is like the first vehicle that uh, Leslie created. I mean, they, they made everything, everyday things. I mean, so the steamroller was like the first car that they made. And they continue to make it because these are what kids saw in the streets of London. Because you got to understand, when these came out, um, it was right after World War II when the entire city of London was bombed. So what did they see? Uh, these steamrollers, you know, packing down the dirt, packing down, you know, the new asphalt, the new cobblestones or whatever. This is what they saw. So the kids knew this instantly as what it was, you know, and his kid um, was in school at the time and he could only, she could only take a toy if it could fit inside a matchbox. So guess what he did? He made a car, a, a toy that would fit inside a matchbox. I love that history. I love that history. Absolutely love it. And uh, look at this. Uh, KB. Uh, I'm too close to the camera, but KB Toys was two ninety nine. Now ninety seven cents. So yeah. Uh, just like yesterday's video, <laughs> you know where I got my stuff from. Now this is cool. Uh, Dyna wheels. This is an Audi. And again, look at that. Two for a dollar. Does that say? Oh, yeah, it does. It says wins. I remember wins when I was a kid, man. Uh, that's where I got most of my Cordy B. Jr. Uh, my mom would go to go get fabric at Wins Department Store, which is like Bill's Five and Dime, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, yeah, so we always got to get toys, and they had Corgi Juniors at that Wins. Look at this. Uh, is this not the bad bagger? Look at that. This is a Scorching Scooter, actually. 1997 first edition. Did not know I had this. I thought I had zero bikes, but uh, apparently I already had some bikes for 1997. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Oh, look at this. The Purple Passion. Uh, I have a thing for purple and I have a thing for green. And purple and green are the Joker's colors. Look at that. White wall tires. Freaking amazing, dude. Look at this. Anytime you put a Porsche, like 911 style with the whale tail, dude, I'm in. If it's got a fin, I'm in. That's sweet, man. That is sweet. What else we got? Oh, look at this. And some more diamond wheels. Look at that. It's a Ferrari 308. With the top down. Just like Magnum P.I. would have had. That's probably why I bought it, man. That's what my grandparents watch is Magnum P.I. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I guarantee Angela Lansbury did not drive a Ferrari 308, but Thomas Magnum did. Oh, look at this. Lamborghini Countach, man. This is my dream car as a kid. Look at that. Two for a dollar, man. I mean, who would you not be buying these dining wheels, man? 
I mean, come on. And I know I haven't read one of these opened. I, I just came across it in a box, which we'll probably be doing either later today or later on tomorrow, maybe, while I'm still off. You know, I'm still going to be trying to do videos for y'all. But, man, that is that is a sweet ride. I play the red one. I probably had about three or four of those, man. And I have one open that's in mint condition. And this is a blue one in mint condition. I didn't even know I had this. And all I say, I did not know I had this. Oh, look at this. No fear race car. Wow. Crazy stuff, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Look at that, man. What year is this? Uh, 1991. So this would be a 92 uh, release. And guess what? I was married in 91. Wow. I mean, man, look at the graphics on this. This is sweet, dude. Uh, I'll, mm. Wow. I, yeah, I am, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. That's amazing. Look at this. Pace Setters. Lamborghini. No, this is a DeLorean. You know, I just did one of these. I actually just detailed off all the lights and everything on it. Wow, I played a lot with that one. And I mean, the one that I just detailed is super sweet. Uh, does have opening with doors on there. Wow, man. Yeah, there's no release date. Made in China. Oh, good lord. Look what it says here 1985. Holy cow. Wow. Just wow. Wow. Okay. Okay, we got some stuff in here. Wow. So let's go ahead and just... Good Lord, man. Good Lord. What have we got? Oh, look at this. 1998 first edition. It's a 49 Ford. Look at that. Man, that that drag truck is sweet. I mean, come on, look. You got the little wheelie bars on the bottom. Big hood scoop. Look at that front end, man. Oh, lordy, lordy. Oh, that is sweet. Absolutely sweet. Look at this. 1997 first edition. It's right there. BMW M Roadster. Not as a Mac, just so we're painted. But man, they could have just done it as a Zay Mac. I mean, wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. What else we got? What else we got? Oh, look at this. It's got the red and the blue lights. Oh, my Lord. I just, literally, I just did one of these. This is a Walmart with the green label, 92 cents. Wow. Sorry about the shakiness, man. I got this awful, awful holder for my tablet. Wow, man. What year was this? Copyright, 1987, Matchbox International. This is by far one of my favorite police cars released. Um... Yeah, Matchbox hit this out of the park, man. Wow. So I'm going to have to get the one that I detailed up, and that's going to be our pocket right for the day. Wow. That's crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. Ooh. 19, 1998 First Edition's I Rock Firebird. Ooh, son, look at that. In gold. With the Goodyear tires on there. Look at that. Wow. I didn't know I had this. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. I love finding things. Oh wow, look at this. The Low and Cool series. 59 Caddy. Wow. Yeah, I love those gold lace wheels on there. Um white interior. Wow. Yeah, this is a sweet ride, man. Yeah, I would be cruising in this right here. 
be pulling up in my big old land yacht to the Sonic Drive-In, get my supersonic cheeseburger, double meat with cheese, jalapenos. Wow. Wow. Okay. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. Maintain. Maintain. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Walmart. 77 cents. Mercedes-Benz. 500 SL. Oh, man, I love those. These are, like, by far my favorite Matchbox wheels right there. Um, those kind of like deep dish silver, yeah. Oh, look, the card is trash, dude. Look at that, it needs to come out, but not today, not today, not today, not today. Uh, what year was this? Dun, dun, dun. 1992. So, I would have been married, uh, no, 93, I would have been married almost two years by this point. Wow. I am old as hell. Hard to believe. Oh, good lord, look at this. The Rock and Rod series, man. Oh, good lord. Look at this jewel, man. Wow. Wow. Craziness. This is uh, 1996. So I've been in 97 release. Wow. Ooh, look at this. The Dash for Cash series. The Audi Avis. Wow. Dude, that is sweet, man. I, I, wow. Okay, I really like that. Might keep that up for a little bit. What else we got? What else we got? Oh, look at this. New 1995 model series. Dodge Ram 1500 with the camper shell. Dude, this is actually really, really nice. I just did a Trevor Samuda. Just throw my cars on the ground. But yeah, look at that, dude. Wow. That's a, that is actually a sweet color. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. What year was this? 1990, copyright date. VW Bug. Look at this. So, CJ, look at that. That card's coming up. It's opening up, so I guess that's going to have to be opened up, too. It's okay, because I got uh, some jammers that will be happy to take those in. Oh, my favorite car of all time. Look at that. Kmart, 96 cents. Yeah, son. The wind splitter. I actually have one of these open, like in mint condition too. Wow. Those, I love those ultra hot wheels, man. Wow, craziness. I did not know I had that. I thought I had just had the one. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at this. 1998 First Editions Dodge Caravan. Saw blade wheels, man. I love those things. I, I know a lot of people don't like those wheels. I actually like those wheels. Wow. That is just craziness, man. Just craziness. Oh, the limousine, son. Look at that. I actually like this casting, man. I really do love this casting. Look at that. Yeah, you are a high roller, son. You pulled up in that. Look at that. It's just classic limo service. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I like it. I like it a lot. What is this? Oh, look at this. My other favorite car. Uh, I'm not lying. Um, this is Walmart, 92 cents. Um, I had a bunch of these, man. I actually had my own limo service when I was a kid. I had like three or four of these in service at the time. 
1987. So yeah, I was probably too old to be playing with Hot Wheels. <laughs> but I still had my own limo service. <laughs> oh, look at this. 1996 first edition. Look at that. Wow. Chevy 1500. Look at the details in the front. Nice black dot grill. Goodyear tires. Wow. And I like the 70 because uh, that's the year I was born. So, yeah, if it's got a 70 on it, I'm in. I am absolutely in. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. 1996 first editions. The Little Red Wagon. Right there. That's a radio flyer. Um, yeah. And I know they made a blue version of this. I do not have the blue version. So if any of you guys have the blue version, um, I sure would appreciate it. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. We could talk trade or something. Ooh, look at this. Walmart. 50 cents. The Dodge Viper. RT10. The Road and Track 10. And it's number 10 on the car, too. Look at that. As seen on the Viper TV show. Look at that. Right on the bottom. As seen on the Viper TV show. Hush. You dogs need to keep quiet. People are trying to sleep. People are trying to make YouTube videos over here. Oh, crap. Look at this. Salt Flat Racer. I I didn't even know I owned this. I seriously didn't. Who year was this? 1996 would have been a 97 release. Dude, I like that. If I find any beat up ones, man, I would definitely restore some of them. Ah, look at this. Arbor, 852. KB Toys, 99 cents. Yeah, that car's a little trash, but you know what? I didn't even know I had a red Auburn at all, especially with the white walls. Wow, crazy, crazy, crazy. What else we got? Oh, look at this. I got this big Kenworth. And I have one of these literally sitting in my garage in like the same condition. Just, just sitting there on my table, my side table. And I've been thinking, nah, maybe I might hit it with some color shifting paint since it's already like nice and black and shiny. Got the old black walls. Maybe I will do it now because uh, there is a second one. Wow. Ooh. Mercedes Benz C Class. Look at this. If it's got a thin, I'm in. Wow, 1997 first editions, man. That thing is pretty sweet. Pretty, pretty sweet. What else we got? Man, it's like Christmas. I'm not even looking in the box. I'm just pulling stuff out. Oh, you know what this is? The Pontiac Banshee, man. Concept car. This was supposed to be a replacement for the, for the uh, Corvette. But it didn't happen. But you can see some of the uh, design stylings that did transfer over to the Corvette. And it does have the ultra hot wheels. And that's sweet. Wow. Wow. I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm stuck. What else we got? What else we got? Ah, Street Beast. Look at this. Look at that, man. Look at the white walls. I love that front end. The front end almost looks like a tucker. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Wow. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Dogs, come down. Piper. Shelby, stop. Not Shelby. Yeah, y'all stop. No, don't come over here. I don't want to see you. Look at this. Another wins. And I actually remember when I got this car. Because I think this is my third one. 65 Mustang. And I think if you look on the bottom, oh, you can't see it because this has a paper. I think it actually says 64 and a half. Yeah, wow. Nice. 
65 Mustang, the original Mustang. This is one of today's hottest collector cars that is in recent auction sales for thousands of dollars more than the original sticker price. This is one of Ford's highest production cars and after restoration looks as great now as they did in 1965. Wow, made in Hong Kong for the Erdo Company. Uh, no date though. But I'm telling you, uh, yeah, I was a young lad. A much younger lad than what I am now. So it's been a while, son. Ooh, the Quicksilver series. Look at this. This is the Arrow Flash. I like how it says Blizzard on the top. Oh, and again, the saw blade wheels. Ah, dude, I love those wheels. I don't know why. I'm just weird that way. I like a lot of things that people don't like. What do we got here? Oh, look. 1995 model series Dodge Ram 1500. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hmm. I got two. But one says new, one does not. Awesome card variant. Probably why I bought it. I don't remember a lot of things like this. I don't even remember it. Ooh, look at this. The Low and Cool series. Another limousine. Look at that. Loving the gold lace wheels. Yep. Gold chrome. Man. That's nice. I like that. I, I'm, I'm down. I'm down. Ooh, Spy Print series. Look at this. This is a uh, custom Corvette. Oh, I like that, man. Again, saw blade wheels. Absolutely loving it. What year was this? Uh, 1996, so a bit of 97 release. Just put a Trevor Samuda, just threw my car on the ground. Oh, man, this car's all beat to hell. Oh, wow. 82 Firebird SE. Look at that. And I'm actually got one in a box, a black one, that I'm sending to uh, Todd in Mountain 66. And I remember having this red one, and I remember painting it up to look like Kit. Because uh, they didn't have Kit back in the days. But Knight Rider was a thing. It was a thing for me, I mean. I watched all the old shows, man. Knight Rider... Fall Guy, Airwolf, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, let me send a drink right there. Ooh, oh, look, a Plymouth Prowler. Dude, if if I had one of these today, I mean, seriously, I, I literally would drive it <clears throat> every day. This says uh, KB Toys. A dollar nine. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Ooh. Who is this? Uh, dun, dun, dun. 1990. Look at this. 1990. Copyright date. 1991 release. Mazda MX-5 Miata. It says Miata on the top. Wow. <coughs> oh. Excuse me. I got to get a drink. Man, ours has been killing me lately. <clears throat> Allergies have been killing me. I've been taking like Flonase, like two shots in each nostril every day just so I can breathe. Ooh, 1998 first edition. The Sweet 16 2. Look at that. Pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty. I like that. I like that. When was that the end, guys? I'm sorry. 1996 first edition. The 96 Mustang GT. That is a very clean car, man. It definitely 90 styling. I mean, saw blade wheels again, which I absolutely love. I know Chris is, you know, you know Chris's, you know, junkyard designs. He he hates those wheels, but I love them. I absolutely love those wheels. Uh, so yeah, that's a keeper. 
<clears throat> and then, oh wow, okay. Uh, this is KB Toys. Dollar twenty nine. Look at that. That's the Hyperliner. And man, if that doesn't scream nineties graphics, I don't know what does, man. I mean, come on. Look at the Goodyear tires on this thing, man. Freaking amazing. Uh, two thousand and one. So, man, two thousand two release. I like that. Hyperliner. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Nineteen ninety eight first edition. Mercedes SLX. Look at that. For the detail lights. Are those lens lights? No, they're just detailed. They're not lensed. Uh, Ryu was the guy that started with the lens part of that uh, in the last recent years. So that's pretty cool. Wow. 98 first edition. Wow. All right, guys. Last car. Guys and girls. I'm sorry. Uh, Ferrari. 550 Marinello look at that beautiful silver nice wheels red interior very clear glass I love clear glass on cars especially if you're trying to do a, a restoration or custom absolutely love it 1999 so that would have been a 2000 first edition uh, or first uh, release in 2000 and that means uh, I, I wasn't even married at that at that point so yeah wow man i'm telling you this box has some gold in it son wow i'm gonna start putting all this stuff back in there just like i found it holy cow man that's some good stuff so anyway hope you enjoyed it uh i know i did Wow, I mean, there's some, wow, I mean, come on, look at that, minty, 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 all these cards will stay minty, because I never intend to open them up, despite what my buddy says I should do, <laughs> but you know what, to each his own, and uh, wow, I'm just telling you, yeah, uh, and maybe, you know what, maybe I will, but just looking at this card art, man, I mean, I know this card is trash, and I've already got one of these open, but Kmart's no longer around, you know what I'm saying? It's like, trying to preserve history here, you know? KB Toys, no longer around. So, the fact that I have them carded, the fact that they still have the old price tags and everything, uh, to me, that just makes me happy. It makes me absolutely happy that I still have I still have something you know to show that these places actually existed and that oh sorry I I, I absolutely hate this freaking uh, tablet holder it's like the worst design ever 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 but I found that if I have enough light, this tablet works really well for doing videos. So I'll keep it around for a while longer. Oh, come on. There you go. There you go. There you go, son. You're doing well. Yeah, man, there's some... There is some solid gold up in here. Man, I'm glad I found this box. I, I, I am seriously, seriously happy I found this box. And uh, it's a shame that it's taken me... What day are we now? Is it Wednesday? Uh, yeah, I've been off of work since Saturday. And, uh, I haven't done crap. My, my garage still looks the same because I find boxes like this and I get sidetracked a lot. At all. A lot. So, but yeah, so that's where we're at, man. Oh, oh yeah, that's a banana car. So, again, 
I just want to say that I understand the appeal now for doing these gas lands, man. Yeah, it's a lot of fun smashing and bashing and making something out of nothing. Oh, yeah. Absolutely love it. And I want to say to you, I, I, I truly appreciate you watching. I truly appreciate you doing, uh, just taking the time out of your day to watch what I'm putting out. Um, I don't have a whole lot of subscribers, and I'm not really about subscribers. What I am about is like just showing you stuff that I enjoy, things that I find fun. And uh, yeah, so I mean, to me, this is fun. This is fun. I spent all night doing it, working on this one, working on another car. The other car is classic. It's going to be sweet. It's, it's what I call the uh, dad sleeper car. It's a wagon for a, a friend of mine. And he already knows he's getting a wagon, but he doesn't know what I'm doing. Um, yeah. So I'm, I'm just having fun. And that's what all this is about. Enjoy the die cast. Enjoy the history. Enjoy looking at a tiny car that just brings back memories, you know. And like, oh, my God. I remember seeing that when I was a kid, you know. I, I, I want it. I have it. You know, that kind of thing. And that's what it's all about. Uh, enjoy the hobby. Don't let it take over your life. Um, I've been, obviously, been collecting for a very, very long time. Because die-cast cars are always a part of my youth. And uh, I, apparently, I kept buying. Even after I was uh, first married. Um, <laughs> yeah, my wife doesn't know how many cars I have. Uh, she doesn't know how many guns we own it, you know, either. So there's that. <laughs> but anyway, I, I just appreciate you subscribing. Appreciate you watching. I appreciate you liking and commenting. And please keep doing that. I mean, it makes my heart good. And I try to answer everyone that comments on my uh, posts. I try to answer you back because I feel it's a decent thing to do. I'm not big. I'm never going to get big. I don't want to get big. I just want to keep doing what I'm doing and just showing you guys that, uh, hey, look what I got. You remember this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, so it's it's fun for me. So with that being said, I got to get off. I have to go take a shower, get my day going. And uh, thank you so much for uh, for just stopping by and watching the videos. Appreciate y'all. I hope you have a great day today. Today's going to be a good day for all of us. All right. Be blessed.